It's 2016, everybody's talking about the cloud. Get this thing on the cloud. So what's, uh, why are you putting this on, the, how you put this on the cloud? These things are not gonna be the size of your cell phone. These are, you know, for superconducting qubits, you have these big refrigerators, they take up a big lab. That will not change. It's only going to get worse as you add more and more qubits, you have to have more fridges. So how do, how do people use them? They, you, you know, we, 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 there's cloud computing now, why not add quantum to the mix of this? Uh, so we did that. And we had no idea really what to expect. Obviously, we were hoping for people to log on quickly and, and do something. And that's exactly what happened. That, that, that was just absolutely amazing. And, and, and really, it was a delight to see that we put it online. And before you know it, people are running uh, bell tests, so entangling two qubits in this um, uh, special state um, and doing science. And since, since those days, you know, there's now been thousands of papers that have been published. Um, doing research with remote access to quantum systems. Absolutely impossible in the early 2000s, mid 2010s.